Hey guys, this is Seb Sanford. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is a different type of video today, not a trailer reaction or a vlog. Um, this is something that I am doing in the style of other YouTubers. Um, they did their top 10 movies compilation on YouTube. I've seen Grace Randolph do this on her YouTube channel, Beyond the Trailer. I've seen DJ Hunts do the same thing on TikTok. And now I'm going to have a go at doing this on my YouTube channel. This is a list of my top 10 Christmas movies that you should watch at that time of year this year and next year, and the year after that, and beyond. Um, how many years can I count? Okay, now that I've explained everything that I'm doing on this YouTube video right now, let's have a go with doing this. Let's begin. Movie number 10. <laughs> Coming in at number 10 is one of my favorite versions of The Christmas Carol, and it's called Scrooge. And it stars Bill Murray from the Ghostbusters movies, and set in 1980s New York, in the style of The Christmas Carol. Uh, the manager of a television company is being visited by his dead friend, who warns him that he'll be haunted by three spirits, um, goes to Christmas past, present, and the future. And it was released in 1988, and there are lots of wonderful slapstick moments. And the movie is a journey showing how Bill Murray's character becomes caring, and I mostly laughed at Bill Murray's comedic performance as Frank Cross, especially when he did some cursing in some bits of the movie that is described as a physical comedy. So, so, children, Please be warned if you're planning on watching Scrooge for the first time. And if you don't know what the movie is, then go check out the trailer on the link in the description. Um, you're probably going to have a go watching the trailer anyway after this video. Anyways, Scrooge, that's number 10. Let's go on over to movie number 9. Okay, coming in at number 9 is Office Christmas Party. Sorry if this following poster is censored because I don't want to offend anyone because that's what the poster looks like. Anyways, about Office Christmas Party, uh, set in December of 2016, which was the year the movie was released. Uh, the movie is about staff members of an office company putting on a Christmas party to help save it. You could say the movie is about giving and caring, but it's also about keeping people's jobs safe and not getting fired, even at this time of year, Christmas time. And, and I like this movie as it was suitable for young teens and adults over the age of 15. Um, it's rated 15 here in the UK, whilst in America and Canada it's rated R. And that it has a feel-good factor to the movie. It includes an amazing cast of actors like Jason Bateman, uh, Jennifer Aniston from the TV show Friends, and a host of others. Why not have a go at watching this? Sorry kids, um, this movie is not suitable for you. So, Office Christmas Party is officially out of order for kids under the age of 15. <laughs> Alright, coming in at number 8 is The Christmas Chronicles, which is an original Christmas movie you can watch on Netflix. If you, ha if you haven't subscribed to Netflix yet, make sure to do so. I put the link in the description below. Um, set in 2018, where the movie was released on Netflix. This tells the story of a brother and sister who want to prove that Santa Claus, played by the amazing Kurt Russell, is real. So they try to capture it on camera uh, until they accidentally snuck onto Santa's sleigh and messed up his schedule, if you know what I mean by that. In order to save Christmas night, all three of them team up to find Santa's sleigh and sack of toys. And all things work out well in the end, in which I don't want to give the whole movie away. But there are a few surprises along the way, and this is definitely something for kids of all ages to watch at home. And don't forget to watch the second movie that has already been released on Netflix. Uh, after all, it is good to see Coach Russell back on our screens in time for the big day. So, Christmas Chronicles, it's amazing, and be sure to check out the sequel as well. Coming in at number 7 on my top 10 Christmas movies is another original Christmas movie you can watch on Netflix. And it's called Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. An imaginary world comes to life in a holiday tale about an eccentric toy maker, his adventurous granddaughter, and a magical invention that has the power to change their lives forever. This magical film includes a, an all-star cast of famous Hollywood actors including Forrest Whitaker, uh, Keegan-Michael Key, and Latino singer Ricky Martin, whom I think managed to pull his CG character off, and which happened to be one of Mr. Jangle's inventions from the very start of the movie. And that's the only spoiler I can give you. And, and in my opinion, it's almost like a Greatest Showman meets Hamilton type of movie, a Christmas movie. And that was what I was expecting to see after reacting to the trailer itself back in October. This is something that the whole family should watch at home on Netflix during the countdown to Christmas. Alright, coming in at number 6 on my top 10 Christmas movies is The Santa Claus. It's a holiday Christmas movie from back in 1994 in November, and it stars Tim Allen from the Toy Story movies and ABC's Home Improvement, 
which I'd never seen before, let me be honest with you. Uh, and by helping Santa Claus with the Christmas crisis, Scott unknowingly agrees to become the next Santa Claus. Now he has to deal with a suspicious former wife and trying to keep his secret safe. And this movie is to be enjoyed by kids of all ages, and the same goes for their parents. And there are two other movies that you should watch. There are two sequels to The Santa Claus. The second movie focuses on Scott Calvin, aka Santa Claus, finding a Mrs. Claus, otherwise he won't be able to become Santa again. And the third is all about Jack Frost, played by Canadian actor Martin Short, um, pushing the character of Scott Calvin to say, I wish I had never been Santa at all. Why? Why not just watch all three movies from start to finish and find out? And by the way, you can watch all three Santa Claus movies on Disney+. Plus. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. Link in description. Okay, coming in at number five on my top ten Christmas movies is The Grinch, uh, the version with Canadian actor Jim Carrey, in which I thought the movie was really hilarious. Um, this movie was released way back in November 2000, and it's celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. So, happy anniversary to Jim Carrey's The Grinch. Anyways, the Grinch lives in solitude just outside of the city of the little town of Whoville, and he hates the town's folk and despises Christmas by stealing all things Christmas in every house around Whoville. And Cindy Lou Who, a six-year-old girl who believes in the spirit of the festival, sets out to reform him. And this is something to be enjoyed by kids and adults who grew up reading the Dr. Seuss children's books and watching the movie adaptions of each book. And the most recent Grinch movie is still the same much-loved story, but this time, Benedict Cumberbatch, aka Sherlock Holmes, is our protagonist. And it was released back in November of 2018, so I give that movie a watch as well. So that's my number 5 movie on my top 10 Christmas movies you should watch, um, Jim Carrey's The Grinch. Okay, coming in at number 4 on my top 10 Christmas movies you should watch this Christmas, and this is The Muppet Christmas Carol. It was released by Disney and Jim Henson Productions back in 1992, and with a host of all your favorite Muppet characters, starring alongside British actor Michael Caine. Very similar to what I said back at the beginning of this video at the number 10 spot, um, Scrooge, Michael Caine, uh, an old miser who dislikes Christmas, uh, is visited by spirits who foretell his future and share secrets from his past and present, and that helps in changing his view on life. And all told and presented in Muppet form, and, and the start of the movie paying tribute to two puppeteers, that is Jim Henson and Richard Hunt. And this movie is to be enjoyed by kids of all ages, and the same goes for adults who grew up with the Muppet movies both old and new. And similar to what I said back at the beginning of the video with Scrooge and many different versions of The Christmas Carol, this Muppet movie is a journey showing how Michael Caine's Scrooge character becomes caring. And this was actually my first Michael Caine movie I came across way back in the good old days. Need I say more? Okay, now we're coming into my top three Christmas movies that you should watch during this time of year and next year and the year after that and so on. Okay. Coming in at number three, it's, this is one of my favorite Robert Zemeckis Christmas movies, and it's called The Polar Express, released way back in 2004 and starring Tom Hanks, who plays at least five characters in one whole movie and directed by Robert Zemeckis. Uh, a young boy boards a train and embarks on an extraordinary journey to the North Pole to meet Santa Claus. His life, his life takes a turn after he encounters special people that make his journey memorable. And it's based on the children's book of the same name. And this movie is to be enjoyed by kids and adults who really believe in Santa Claus and the spirit of Christmas itself. So I give that movie a watch. It's one of my favorites. And coming in at number two on my top 10 Christmas movies, and this is one of my family's favorite Christmas movies that we watch every single Christmas. And it was released back in 2003, and that movie is called Elf and all in the hands of director Jon Favreau, who did The Mandalorian on Disney+, Plus, and the CG live-action Jungle Book and The Lion King, and it stars alongside Will Ferrell. And basically what Elf is about, it's about Buddy, a human, who is raised amongst elves at the North Pole, and when he discovers that he is not an elf, um, he travels to New York to search for his biological father, whom he'd never met, and wants to have a chance to meet him for the first time. And the movie does include an appearance of Game of Thrones actor Peter Dinklage somewhere in this movie, but I won't say where. Uh, you'll have to watch and see for yourselves. Uh, but this was Peter Dinklage before 
he was in the TV show Game of Thrones, which isn't my cup of tea, let me tell you that. And this movie is to be enjoyed by all movie audiences, both big and small, and definitely something worth watching every Christmas on a family movie night. Um, it's got some great lines like, Call me Elf one more time, which was said by Peter Dinklage back a few seconds ago. And the most important quote somewhere in this movie is this, said by Will Ferrell, who passed it on to Zoe Deschanel, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. That's a line, by the way. What a great line in this movie, let me tell you that. And one of my favorite Christmas movies at number two. So shout out to you, Will Ferrell and John Favreau. Okay, we're coming to the number one spot on my top 10 Christmas movies you should watch every Christmas. And at number one, I mean, who doesn't love It's a Wonderful Life? Um, starring James Stewart and released way back in 1946. Um, his character George Bailey has so many problems. He is thinking about ending it all. And, and it's Christmas. And that's where the movie takes place at the time of year, Christmas. And as, as the angels discuss George, uh, we see his life in flashback. And as George is about to jump from a bridge, um, thinking he wished he had never been born, which was one of the famous quotes in that movie, he ends up rescuing his guardian angel Clarence, who then shows George uh, what his town would have looked like if it hadn't been for all of his good deeds over the years. Not only is this movie a Christmas classic to be enjoyed by those who loved watching black and white movies, but I believe this is to be enjoyed by teens and adults. Um, and probably bring your kids along as well. And the, basically the theme of the movie is just family life, about loving life, and it is, and not wishing your life away. Definitely the Christmas classic worth watching. Okay, so those are my top 10 Christmas movies that you should watch every Christmas. Which Christmas movie out of all the 10 Christmas movies I've given you is your favorite? Be sure to write them down below in the comments. If you like what you just seen, like the video, subscribe today for new videos, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any vlogs and trailer reaction videos. And you can follow me on my socials, Twitter and Instagram, links in description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. And have yourself a very merry and safer and healthier Christmas. And I'll see you soon. Bye.